we had some weather come through the hacienda the last few days here and i took down one of my smaller trees so i'm gonna see if i can clean it up with this what's happening panda nation peter von panda here so to uh do a little clearing of the dead wood around here <laughs> which is what everyone refers to me as i picked this up it's Orb Lawn 6-inch mini chainsaw, and I thought this would be the perfect tool for this little project. If this were a big tree fell, yeah, I'd probably need to bust out the big guns, but something like this I think is going to be perfect. And what you can see here is we actually get a bunch of stuff here. So we get stuff to clean and lube. We actually get an additional chain here, some oil, the tool to take it down. Yeah, so we get a full little toolkit there. Get the Orblon instruction manual. And then here it is. I'm just gonna move this away here for a second. We get a charging cable, very long, single plug, two prong right there. And we get this battery, it's 20 volt, 30 amp hours. And it's got a nice little button right here so we can check the charge state. And the thing about this is I think it'll use some of the other brands of batteries as well. So if you already have batteries, you might be able to keep this thing running. And then I also like the fact that they give you a little eye pro here. So if any little wood pieces get kicked up, they don't get into my big, beautiful eyes. All right. So now I know you're waiting to see the tool here. It's Orblon, not Binford. Oh man, look at this. So it has a little reservoir here to feed in the oil, which is interesting. I've never seen that on one of these smaller chainsaws. Looks like we get a little bulb to prime there as well. Looks like we have a crossbar here. Safety. So if I pull the trigger, it's not moving. And if I push this in, now it'll move. If I push it in all that way, it'll move too. So if you're left or righty, won't matter, but when it's right in the middle there, it's unsafe. All right. You can see the housing for the motor right there. We have a guard on the chainsaw portion, which is actually pretty nice. A lot of these don't come with that. It says six inches. And, and there's the chainsaw part itself. It has a moving guard up on the top here. I also like this big wide hand guard. Obviously, if you're wearing gloves, which I will be, you won't have any problems getting your hand in there. This black part here is a little grippy rubber. The white part is a harder plastic. And then the battery obviously goes there. So I'm gonna get the lube in there, the battery in there, and let's see if we can cut down this tree. All right, so we're out in the back here, and this is the area where I've got some cleanup to do. You can see this tree here got felled by the weather. So some snow, some rain, some hail, and some really strong winds, and combined with a pretty dead tree, well, it just fell over. So let's see if we can clean it up with this. All right, so what we got here is the last remaining branch of this tree. It's going to turn into firewood for me this winter, but it's pretty big and, you know, it's not super large. Down here, these pieces are about the size of a finger. Down here, this is probably about uh, four inches in diameter. So what I want to see is let's start on the easy stuff. And I've got all my pro on, my protection, always stay protected, and just see if we can cut some of these off because I don't want to drag them to my fire pit like this. So what we will do here is just go ahead and start. Cutting it down. Woo, man, make short work of that, huh? Just a nice light touch and these things come right off, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And you can see here, this little piece, let's see what we get in there. Yep, no problems there. Now we're getting into some bigger pieces up here. Oh man, short work of this stuff. I tell you what, this is the perfect tool for this job because just of the size and, you know, how close you need to be to everything, a full on chainsaw would actually be a little hard to manage because, you know, Right now, I'm holding the camera with one hand, but I could just grab the branch with my other hand and cut this up. So you can see here, I can get some nice precision cuts. Man, this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. 
All right, so let's try some heavier stuff here. Obviously, right here, we're about two and a half inches in diameter. So go ahead and see if we can cut through this. Yeah, no problems there. Another one, uh, probably about two inches in diameter right there. Let's try this one. I didn't think that would be a problem. And let's go right here because now we're getting into some meat and at least three inches, three and a half inches in diameter. You might have to roll it just a little bit. But dude, this tree is no match for this Orblon. I love the fact that this seems a little higher end than the other ones that I have checked out before. Obviously a really big battery, but the fact that it has all the features of like a regular chainsaw just in a smaller package makes this thing really, really awesome. So if you're looking for something that is the real deal that will cut wood, that will make your small firewood bundles very quickly out of this old dead wood, then I would check this out and it's not expensive, so I think it's a really good value as well. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.